Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Auto Gladiators, which is of course made by EOM Games and we're playing Ward and we're playing Nature's Prophet because I keep talking shit about the Ward sect because it is bad. Uh, but maybe with a bit of luck we can make it work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay, we're a little bit late. We missed the first round, don't worry, nothing happened. I got myself Nature's Prophet. And uh, I'm recording this right now. I mean, that's why I'm starting a little bit late. I wasn't originally planning on recording right now, but I'm recording right now because I am the only ward hero in the lobby. It's just me, right? There's there's a Magnus, there's a Stinker, a Shadow Fiend, uh, a Life Stealer, a Sniper, a Sniper, and another Shadow Fiend. None of these heroes use ward, and frankly speaking, none of them want to use ward. So this is it. This is our opportunity. Now, admittedly, Nature's Prophet is only the second best ward user, the best one being Crystal Maiden, uh, but that's all right. We're just gonna try our best here. <laughs> the problem with Crystal Maiden is that she's a bit harder to find, right? Because she has two synergies that need to be in the pool for her to pop up. Well, Nature's Prophet just needs ward in the pool and he can pop up. So we're just gonna go and do that. Um, there's a few problems here. Attack is uh, available and crit is available, but no evasion. So that makes things just ever so slightly more difficult. Also, we're obviously selecting ward. Let's go. Uh, but that makes things ever so slightly more difficult, but not too much. Um, but there are good defensive options. So we've got health, we've got region, we've got shield. So we can use those to just kind of defend ourselves. And then we're going to primarily go for just ward and buy ward, and buy ward, and buy ward, and buy ward, and then we have infinite ward, and then we're gonna kill everybody with ward, and we're gonna feel really good, and really smart, and just excellent at the video game, and that's the plan for today. I hope that's good. I hope that's all right with everybody. And yeah. Also, um, just a little bit of something. If you guys could help me with this, that would be really appreciated. Uh, because I, so I'm looking for a video clip or something, uh, Dota related, don't worry, there's nothing weird. I guess it's a little weird. Anyway, uh, but I'm looking for a video clip or something, uh, but I just couldn't really find it. I know it exists, the gala, right? But anyway, so, back in the day, like 2011 to like 2013-ish, I think, I'm not sure about the exact time frame, but Earthshaker's Fisher used to be blocked by Lincoln Sphere. And I want a clip of that happening. I want somebody getting hit by a fissure and that fissure Nine, then getting blocked eight, by Lincoln Sphere. Seven, Just would like a video clip five, of that. Four, I could probably find it by myself, two, one, but I already did some searching today and I got annoyed because I couldn't find it because it's so specific. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably find it at some point during TI, I guess. It's just that during that period, people didn't really buy Lincolns because Lincolns kind of sucked and BKB was really good. And like, why would you buy Lincolns if BKB is a thing, right? Um, but yeah, so... So yeah. That's just kind of it. Not a bot. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I accused this person here of being a bot. And now I feel bad, because this mode has been getting attacked by bots really badly. And what the bots do is they join a lobby and then just don't accept the lobby. You know, the usual bot attack in the arcade. Um, but uh, what's been... Or like, the way the bots usually look, right? Because they have a very specific, I guess, um, style to them. I don't know, but the bots basically, they always have an empty profile with Drow Ranger as their profile picture. Exactly like this person, so I thought this was a bot. Um, but then <laughs> but then they accepted the lobby and loaded in, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this bot technology is getting advanced. <laughs> it's been fixed though. Uh, I don't know, when I was playing this morning, I was still getting some. Played a game this morning, took like three attempts to actually get into a lobby because of bots. So, look, the, the arcade is just a very hostile space, which I find very um, discouraging, if I'm honest. But it is how it is. 
Uh, let's get this, probably. I mean, these all suck. I don't like any of these. But I guess this is a bit more healing, right? I'm going to buy this right here. I like both of these, I suppose. And I don't mind getting the Rage Ward. I just want all of the ward upgrades. I don't really care about anything else, right? Just get me ward upgrades. I don't know if I want Magic of Cure right now. Because I would rather stay at my strong economy. But yeah, they probably got banned. <laughs> that's even... That's also a, a, a theory. Yeah, a lot of people got banned recently, right? Three, two, one. Yeah, there are a lot of people that got banned recently. Um, that's something they did. Where... Do you guys know about Overwolf? So, or Overplus, or something like that. I don't... Don't judge me if I get the name wrong. But basically, there's this, this software, this external software for Dota 2 that's supposed to help you with drafting but it has a couple of features that the community as a whole considers um, to be cheating and uh, people have been complaining about it for a long time and then yesterday Valve handed out a wave of permabans for using it so there's a lot of people now that used to be using Overwolf and, well, they aren't anymore because they are now permanently banned from the video game. Ten, nine, Which is kind of radical, I gotta say. That's six, a little bit crazy. Five, uh, four, I gotta say another thing there. One. I've actually been contacted by this company many times before where they wanted to sponsor me. And every time I've refused. And I've refused every time. Because the first time I talked to them, I wasn't really too familiar with, like, the specific issues, right? Um, but I had heard that people weren't too happy about the, uh, the software. So what I did is I was like, look, I know there's some drama surrounding this. Can you just ease my concerns? Can you just give me some sort of argument as to why this isn't a problem? Which I think is a reasonable request. Right? Like, if there is a controversy regarding something, oh, hell yeah. Now we only buy Ward, right? Ever. Just, just only ever buy Ward. Because then we ex get, get extra Ward stuff and Ward is cheaper. Oh my god. Let's go. Anyway. Come here. Um, I want to reduce the damage the Wards take. So what they then did is they said, well, on our website, we have an article that explains it. So I went to their website and clicked on the article. And it was like, hey, uh, this leads to a 404 page. Like, there's nothing here. And then they blanked me. They never talked to me again. Which isn't the first time something like that, which isn't the first or only time something like that happened there. Uh, a company was like, yeah, we have sources. Here, just read this. And then I went to actually read it and there was nothing there. And when I pointed that out, they then said, <laughs> well, they then just kind of like blanked me from that point onward. So I have this theory that this just like, you know, they just rely on the fact that nobody actually goes and reads that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so I didn't end up working with them, but I actually got an email from them. Like, like a couple of days ago again. Like they, again, they request regularly. They regularly want to sponsor something on my channel. Um, or on my channels at this point. They requested like a couple of days ago. And I, I just kind of ignored it. Because it was like, at this point, people hate this stuff. Like they, they are very hostile towards anything related to this software. So I just don't want to deal with that. Ooh. Look at this. Level 20 ward. Dude, just maxing that out. Maxing that out, then we're maxing out health, and then we're going nuts. Five, four, <clears throat> three, two, so yeah, anyway. Um, the... So they, they ended up um, messaging me again, right? And I was like, oh, just gonna ignore that. This isn't right for me. I don't want to deal with this. And then... Today, I read that they are all banned. <laughs> like, everybody that was using it got purple ban. And I'm just like, made a good call right there. Yeah, I think I made a good call on that one. 
I mean, thank God that website had a 404. <laughs> oh, man. Because I would have felt real bad if I had accidentally advertised something to y'all that ended up uh, resulting in somebody getting banned, right? That's no fun. But I am careful. Like, that's always the thing, right? I am careful with what I actually... Or, like, with who I work with. Because I just... I don't want to take any chances if it comes to that kind of stuff, right? Hello, did you know that I have a Twitter called Baumi and Cats, where I post cat pictures and other stuff? Also, please leave a rating on the video. There's a link in the description to the Twitter, by the way. Anyway, goodbye. Anyway, hey, we're doing really well. Level 25 ward. Perfect. Uh, I'm just buying every ward thing. I don't care what it is. I want all of them, right? Because uh, with the bottle, we can uh, roll into legendaries. So by just buying all of the crap, we then don't even necessarily have to buy the legendaries. We can just roll right into them with the bottle, uh, which sounds great. And uh, we're going to go and take this down. Right now, we're still not that strong, unfortunately, but it is how it is, right? That's always the problem with the ward build. As soon as the wards die, you just kind of also die. Wow, that was actually close. That was actually way too close, I gotta say. But it is how it is. It is how it is. We did manage to survive. What changed? I just got a little arena skin. Yeah, I just unlocked something. Um, Probably just get the Heaven's Halberd, to be honest. Ward. Ward. And then we just chill, right? I mean, I could roll again, but it would just get me below income. And right now, we're doing okay. Like, we just need to use our HP, like our player HP, right? That gives us time. Nine, and eight, with the ward build, seven, we need our legendaries, we need our epics. Yeah, I just gotta roll into them. Three, two, How does bottle work? If I buy four things in a row from the same sect, I get a random ability from that sect. So you can see I'm currently at free. So if I buy another ward now, then I get a free ward upgrade. And this right here, this other thing that I have, what is it called? The lucky coin, makes it so that every time I get a... So every time I buy a ward upgrade, I get 20 gold refunded. So ward upgrades cost less money. So with those two combined, I can just kind of get a huge amount of ward upgrades in. God damn it. See, this is the problem. This is the issue. This right here. Like, you, you, your ward dies and then you lose the game. Alright. Roll. Nothing. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. Roll again. Roll again. Fearless charge. Oh, we just got uh, one of the epics there. Oh, we got a legendary. We got Twin Guardian. Okay. Okay. Now we can actually Nine, do alright. I think I will get extra damage shared by the Void. I know that may seem weird, Four, but... Three, I We are going to have a lot of Void now, and we actually want them to die because of the Fearless Charge. What Fearless Charge does is it makes it so that when a Void dies, it rushes at our opponent. And we have Twin Guardian now, which gives us an extra Void at the start of combat. Oh my god, we deal so much injury damage. Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, let's go. Look at that, we rolled into Twin Guardian. I mean, that's huge because uh, now we saved 300 gold on that, right? So that's really, really nice. I like Phoenix Ash. If we are below 20 HP, um, we have free healing for free. Nope. Just gotta prioritize ward still. Yeah, okay, didn't find it. That's fine. Look, I'm just gonna keep rolling for ward while we can. Because there's still a lot of upgrades that we're missing. And Ward is unfortunately a very parasitic build where you just need the Ward stuff. You can't really merge it with anything else other than HP. Like HP, okay, maybe like a bit of poison, a bit of region. You can merge it a bit there, but primarily you need the Ward stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. But look at that injury build-up. That is actually kind of crazy. 
<laughs> Twin Guardian makes all the difference. The fact that we just get a second ward, I mean, it makes us twice as powerful, right? So, yeah, we pop off. And keep in mind that the way wards work is that if we're, like every ward we have active gives us buffs, right? So every second each ward will heal us, every second each ward will apply injury and so on. And the fact that we have extra wards from, or like an extra ward from the Twin Guardian just means we get more of those benefits. All right, come on, there we go. Buy this. Man, it would be nice to actually find something though. Yes, this is huge. So each ward shoots bouncing balls every one second, dealing 45 physical damage. That's just an additional source of damage. And that's actually a really big deal. Because right now we have injury, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not like gonna be enough damage, like we're gonna need more damage than that. And this definitely helps. So, uh, with this we deal a lot more. And if our wards die, they yeet themselves at the Shadow Fiend and nuke them down. So I think I'm gonna get one more, like, ward level or like bottle ward, ward thing whatever and then we'll probably start dipping into health we do need to start upgrading health that's actually pretty important rip big shark <laughs> that's true goodbye big shark big hamster is on the rise we're gonna go ahead and take over soon well that's great though knocked out of in streak there get this we got shared attacks no, that's not it. All right, as I said, we go for one more level of this. By this, thank you. Roll, roll. Enhanced ward. And then here and here. And we got archer ward again. Ah, we still haven't gotten the thing that summons a ward if we had 50% HP. Like, to be honest, we could probably go for one more of these. So there's a total of 71 levels you can get, by the way. So we're actually still a good bit away from max. Bottle always the bottle. Yeah, bottle is really good. That's how you make this stuff happen, honestly. Very nice. What we need as well is we need more HP. So HP is really synergistic with Ward because HP um, makes it so that uh, the shared vitality level scales up really highly and it has the fearless charge that deals damage based on the ward's health so we just kind of nuke people down and of course it keeps us alive um these all seem kind of bad so i guess i'm gonna get the witless shako just raw hp seems like the way to go roll 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 all right fuck it i guess one more round of ward i want to get the other legendary I want to get the other legendary. The other legendary is really good. You saw the boost the first one gave us. Let's get the second one as well. You got two ward items. I don't have a single one, dude. <laughs> Seven, six, I would quite enjoy getting some ward items, but I, I did not get lucky there. And then after that, after we find that other legendary, we really need to start actually leveling our character, which we haven't done too much of yet. But look at our damage output. It's really good now. Yeah. You need the legendary. Keep in mind, this was a bit of a high roll game here because we found the Twin Guardian really early. With that, Ward is good. Without it... <laughs> Alright, come on. Let me have it. This is so dumb. Alright, this is nice. This is nice. And I got enhanced ward again. So what we got now, we have the um, summoning guardian. When we drop below 50% HP, we summon another ward. Which is, of course, great. We like having extra wards. Hello there, buddy. And... 
<laughs> it's actually kind of wild. Doing very, very little damage to us. And then, if you do manage to kill uh, the wards, they just nuked, uh, throw themselves at our target and nuke them down immediately. Alright, we'll go for some HP now. Gotta get a bit of this, right? <clears throat> also levels. I do actually need levels. That's pretty big too. Because I want to get level 15. I'm still level 12, which is actually a little bit crazy considering it's round 18, right? <clears throat> okay. Silence does nothing to me. We've got a lot of healing. Yeah, no, we can tank just fine. And there's the nuke. Nice. It's interesting that the wards nuking the opponents has a delay, so you can be killed between that. In theory, yes, but in practice, we do summon an, an additional ward. If we um, drop below 50% HP. So we should be fine. Alright, this right here. So level 14. Ten, I mean, I could get this, but I don't think I really seven, care. Six, five, four, three, it's not really worth two, dropping one. further in economy. Okay. <clears throat> Hello there. Wow. Yeah, we got blown up. I mean, again, I'm still missing some water upgrades. Still missing a couple of them. But right there, if we just had a bit more HP, we would actually be fine. Alright, summoning guardian. That's very good. Yeah, I will buy this. Even though it breaks our ribbon, unfortunately. But 20% extra HP is just, I think, too much to pass up. This right here is nice too, but I don't know if it's really important. I need level 15. That would be important. I don't think I can really get it right now without spending a lot of money. Okay. So, let's see, this is Flair. I think Flair is going more of the physical route. Crit, yeah. Good. Good, good, good. The ultimate build for Shadow Fiend just kind of like tries to insta-kill people. And it's very good at doing that. So that's a bit scary for us. The physical route uh, still very powerful, but a bit slower. So we have a better shot there. All right. Yeah, I want the Beast Chill Bloodline to be maxed out. That's actually the most important one. That one and the pure HP upgrade, which unfortunately I've skipped a couple of times, but it's just this. It is how it is, right? I'm going to level this up and then um, get this. I need one level of a variety of things, but let's roll. We don't want to buy something bad. This right here seems okay. And then we get ourselves 10 ward health region per second. So now we have uh, some extra damage here. Every time we reach a 20% chance to deal 120 damage. Seems pretty good. And I, I'm kind of sad we still don't have a big hamster. Our damage is really high. We deal 9 damage, but we, we have a small hamster. Small, small boy. Ooh! <laughs> The Tinker Spam. You badly need Spirit Link. I know, I'm looking for it. I haven't found it, though. I mean, what am I going to do if I just don't get any watch stuff? Right? Like, if we don't find it, then we don't find it. Okay, I'm ready up. I'll probably spend a bit too much money there. Yeah, you can see that it's starting to fall off. Like, pretty hard to. The second legendary would help a lot, but... Yeah. We'll see. 
All right, that's quite a lot of damage, but the sniper really doesn't do enough. The sniper really doesn't even get close. So that's really nice. These do nothing, right? Double health? I don't think I like these. I would much rather find something that's actually good. This is okay. Because it also gets me a level here. This is arguably good, but I don't think it's that important right now. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Ooh, the Shadow Fiend. Oh, man. That is so brutal. Okay. This is really, really good, though. So we got um, Beast Shop Bloodline level 2. And we got Spirit Link. Finally. Took long enough. So increases the damage of the hero and ward by 10%. When the hero deals damage, there's a 50% chance to restore 40 health for the wards. So now we have um, some extra healing for the wards, which of course keeps the wards alive, which keeps us alive. We need that synergy. Okay then, so we stink here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, you can see here. <laughs> it was still close. But we survived. And now HP. This is good. This is pretty alright, but I actually don't think it's that important right now. I want this. I don't think I care about the pre-battle vulnerability. Blood strike is good. I think I gotta roll down a little bit. Beast shield bloodline is good. Don't think I care about shield strike. I care about these two. Nice. So summoning a guardian level max. Now this summons a ward with 1000 health, which is actually kind of crazy. Come on, we can do this! We can't. We can't. We... No! That was so close! God damn it. Alright. So this is where, by the way, our Phoenix Ash is hopefully gonna come in handy. What is this guy relying on? Just ultimate. Oh, that's so hard to interrupt, though. Okay. Don't think I care about this. Fearless charge we do care about. Magic suppression. I mean, I don't know if that does anything, to be completely honest. Alright, enhanced ward is good too. Just buy some healing. Okay. We should be able to win this, at least. Look at how strong our wards are. We are not winning, are we? I mean, maybe the nuke? Oh, it's not enough. God damn it, why is Ward so bad? <laughs> Alright, we got Ultra Ward. That, that adds to it. And we got it. We have everything in Ward. This is the strongest you can be if it comes to Ward. We have all of it. If this isn't enough, <laughs> then I, I don't know. I don't know what could be. We have 71 ward. Okay, so we can't die right here. I think we do pretty alright against the stinker anyway, yeah. Nice. Okay, so second isn't too bad. Wait, no, you're, not, you're still alive. Fuck, I'm fighting this guy now? Oh, I don't want to. Okay, I just need to find a legendary. 
We didn't find a legendary. I guess I'll buy this. I guess I'll buy this. <laughs> and I guess we pray. <laughs> if we get really lucky, we fight the lies to them. That would be ideal. Alright, come on, nature's one. prophet. Maximum ward power. Okay, we're fighting the scary guy. Actually, last time we, we... This might actually be a better matchup for us, to be honest. We won! We did it! Yeah! Because this guy isn't as tanky, right? The lifestealer's a problem because the lifestealer just kind of like tanks through our shit forever. And heals up afterwards. So we can't win against the lifestealer. But we can actually beat the Shadow Fiend just by blowing him up before we die. Okay, let's get this. Damage reduction doesn't actually help that much, right? Because it's healing. We need healing reduction. So it would be this. Is that enough? I mean, I guess I have to get it, right? I suppose I have to. I, I don't really think there's anything else. Good news is, we are not going to die right now because we have 14 HP. Because this Phoenix Ash is keeping us in the game, right? It's just healing so much every round. I mean, we're going to we're gonna lose this fight. We're going to take some damage, but... Maybe the Shadow Fiend kills the Life Stealer. I don't need to watch our fight. Come on, Shadow Fiend. You can do it. Yes! Okay. And then we lose this fight. No, we won this fight! Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Oh, and I got so much magic suppression. Is it possible? Can we do it? No way. No way. I mean, we're back to 17 HP, so that's good too. We do need to win a couple of fights. One, one victory isn't enough. What ended up carrying us is really the Phoenix Ash. Like, that ended up being so good. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, come on. Come on, Ward. Let's do it. Shoot him. Oh, yes! Our damage output is just so high when the wards die that if, the, if our target doesn't have a death prevention effect, right? They don't have something that just, like, forcibly keeps them alive. Well, then they fucking die. <laughs> so that's good. I don't think I look for this. I don't think I care about that. Just let me get the legendary. God damn it. I would like this, though. This is probably worth looking for, to be honest. Like, genuinely, this might actually be better than, than a lot of other stuff. Okay. So we have 8,000 life. Our wards have 1,200. When they die, they just nuke for a whole bunch. They deal 110% of their HP as damage. Also known as enough. And then they get a kill. I mean, I guess I'll just get both of this, right? Both of these here. I mean, still hoping to get a legendary here. Ten. We did high roll a little bit in the early game, but afterwards I wouldn't say so at all. Six, five, four, because like these other ones, we didn't find any legendaries. One. Okay, come on. I think we did it. I think we've done it, right? This is it. Did we win? Come on. Nuke us down. Yes! <laughs> We did it! The ultimate power of the ward. Look at us go. That's crazy. Can't believe that we actually managed to win a game of ward. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.